We gotta do this? Let's engage. Nothing's going to go back to the way that it was. Not really. I saw something. What is it? I don't know. I felt it. Everywhere. The darkness falls across the land. The midnight hour is close at hand. Creatures crawl in search of blood to terrorize y'all's neighborhood. And whosoever shall be found. Sometimes I feel like I still see you. Must stand and face the hounds of hell and rot inside a corpse's shell. Whatever is happening is spreading from this place. What does it want? Not me. Everyone else. Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. You thought that Comic-Con was over. No, there is so much more Comic-Con stuff. So let's talk about Stranger Things. This is great. I always love it when they release the extended trailers. There will be a bunch more Comic-Con stuff posting next week, so be sure to subscribe to get that. Stranger Things Season 2 isn't actually dropping till Halloween this year, but they'll be releasing more promos through the course of the year. But you kind of see how the trailer is a tour de force of 80s references. So you have Michael Jackson's thriller. You have zombie Michael Jackson sitting in the upside down somewhere just watching this, enjoying everything. They start off with this great last Starfighter reference married to a Dragon's Lair reference. Both impossible games. Let me know in the comments if you're somebody who played Dragon's Lair and was able to beat it. Because it was pretty nuts. But obviously they're using the game footage to show how they're going to be fighting the big villain, the dragon in this game, and they're going to get roasted a little bit. Like they all get destroyed and it's sort of a metaphor for the Thessal Hydra at the end of Season 1. Setting up the thing that was responsible for creating the Demogorgon. So this is the thing that's sort of speaking to Will in the trailer, like he's having visions of it. Almost like it allowed Will to escape and it's using him as sort of a bridge showing how the upside down is slowly bleeding into the real world. Like you see all these pumpkins rotting in the real world, Will keeps flashing back and forth. And then you hear that voiceover, this hasn't ended, like the idea that even though Will is back, things are only going to get worse for him. So he's back being experimented on with the Hawkins National Laboratory. So even though that seemed like it was kind of destroyed at the end of season one, Matthew Modine's character is still a big thing. So he's the one that was responsible for all this testing. So it seems like they're a little more willing to work with each other just because they know things are so crazy now that they kind of have an understanding of what's going on. 
You see Sheriff Hopper notice some of the goo on the tree. So it's just more of the upside down bleeding into the real world. Like you see Will slowly go crazy as he's making all these drawings of the big Thessal Hydra. That's what we can call it for now. They might have a different name for it when we actually get to season two because they didn't reveal that many details in their Comic-Con panel. But the footage totally redeemed them. Now, Sadie, you are joining uh, the kids. You are playing a character named uh, uh, Mad Max. Mm -hmm. Uh, so how do you, uh, interact with them? What did you like best about doing the- did you, Have you watched the first season? Yes, I watched the first season. All my friends loved it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I, I didn't like it. I just <laughs> loved it. I loved it. So that's what made getting the audition really exciting for me. Just knowing the show. And I knew, uh, Caleb and Gaten before. But then you also kind of hear Will trying to speak to Eleven who looks like she's just been stuck in the Upside Down since she took down the Demogorgon. So she just slowly finds a weak point between worlds, pushes through. So there's really two things that you take away from this. Yay, Eleven's back. That's really cool. This is how she comes back. But also, oh shit, because the barrier between the Upside Down and the real world is starting to weaken. Like she just found this right next to her. It's not like she had to walk all the way to that special entrance at the Hawkins National Laboratory basement. Like I said, the series is premiering in October around Halloween. It's also around Halloween in the world of the show, which is why you see all the trick-or-treat fanfare, why you see them in the Ghostbusters costumes, because that's who they're dressing up as on Halloween. They even have the proton packs and the Ghostbuster traps. It looks like they've tried to trap something from the upside down, Ghostbuster style. You all remember how that first movie ended. They tried to contain a whole bunch of monsters, but they all spilled out into the real world. So that implies that's what's going to be happening during season two, is that Ghostbusters style, you have this nuclear breach where the upside down just spills into the real world. So give me all your theories about the Thessal Hydra and what's going to be happening, but they'll continue making Stranger Things for season three, season four, season five, there are a couple new characters that they introduce. I don't see Sean Astin in the trailer anywhere, so maybe they'll start teasing them when we get a little bit closer, but they wanted to focus mostly on the characters from season one and what's different about season two. But beyond all this footage, there is a lot more new stuff that's happening. So just let me know what you guys are most excited about. I know there's a Westworld season two trailer. I'll do a video for that next week. There's Walking Dead. I've already gotten a bunch of requests for videos, but if there is Comic-Con stuff that I haven't done yet that you guys want me to do, just let me know in the comments. New Game of Thrones episode posting later tonight. While you wait for everything, you can click here for all the Comic-Con trailers starting with Thor Ragnarok, and you can click here for the Game of Thrones episode two trailer. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.